Not of it. Are you an angel? I am. May I sit here? Sure, sure, yes, yes, you can. I feel like uh, right now I'm uh, falling on my knees to worship you, but but I but I know I shouldn't. Oh no, oh no! Please don't worship me. I'm merely an angel sent by God to deliver His message and His wisdom unto the earth. Has God sent you for me? Yes, He has. Let me show you my human form so I don't partially blind you. Um, I uh, think. Thank you for that. Thank you. If you don't mind me asking, what, what, what does God want with me? Bear with me. Let me start at the very beginning. Creation was a moment where three-dimensional reality, space, time, and the spiritual realm came into existence. The whole entire universe appeared in mere flash. For the creation, it was an instant like of a big bang. For the creator, the beginning happened when he spoke, saying, Let there be light. And so there it was. The beginning was at a point where matter and antimatter collided. Matter moved faster than the speed of light. Everything that was pulled apart was pulled together. The Creator's breath of life was given to man and created in his image to be fruitful and multiply. Chaos and order, heaven and hell, light and darkness, love and hate, life and death were all planned before human existence. The fall of the one-third of angels, the singing of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, the flood, the exodus, and the death and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ were all in the order and chaos of the beginning. Man does not change God's plan or even affect his will. Humans can only alter their own reality by means of energy, manipulation, alteration of space-time, or by traveling through the multiverse. Energy is the substance of most dimensions. Vibrations are energy that can exist in any point of existing space-time. God is in places that don't exist and in any reality. The universe, along with his creation, is God's love. I am Gabriel an angel of the Most High, and you are his prophet, Joshua. What makes you and your earthly father so similar is that he too was a prophet of the Lord. There is another thing that makes you both very important. Both of you have the power to manifest metaphysical reality into physical reality. Usually as heaven and hell wage war against each other every day it takes place in the spiritual realm. The three-dimensional world remains unaffected by the chaos of the spiritual realm. However, with you and your father's supernatural ability to bring spiritual beings into the physical, your world is no longer just in the three dimension, but in the higher one as well, being dynamically altered. That explains all the supernatural things I've experienced throughout my life. I don't know a whole lot about the spiritual realm other than the information that I've read in the Bible. Is there anything I should know about the opposition? Well, I know you can recall demons. They are evil incarnate whose sole purpose is to help the devil fulfill his plan to kill, steal, and destroy humanity. Ghosts are another threat depending on what type of being they were when they lived, were alive, and how they died. Shadow spirits are tricky creatures. They lurk amongst the shadows and suck the life forces. Dark souls, jinns, fallen angels, Nephilim, succubus, incubus, and leviathan are other fierce threats. Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. Because both you and your father are heavily wanted by the dark side. And the light. You both are a threat and an ally to both sides. So, so what does God have to do in all this? What role does he play in humanity's stage? God is working always. And remember, humanity is called humanity for a reason. I'm still confused, but I know what you mean. Um, do you have any questions for me, Gabriel? 
I do have one question for you. Do you know the full extent of your powers? What, what, what powers? You'll see soon enough. You've gotten stronger since the last time that I saw you. You have all this power that needs to be unlocked. I just want to bring it to its full potential for you and help you. In order to attain full power, you must find balance in all aspects of your being. What do you mean by all aspects of my being? 